What's up guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel for another video. Now today, Star and I will be doing something extremely random. Uh, we will be doing a side saddle lesson. So Star's never done it before. I've done it one singular time and wasn't that keen. <laughs> so we will get, be giving it a go this morning. I thought it'd just be really fun to have a go and have a little try and see what we think of it. So today I will be training with Penny Clark and the first thing she wanted us to do was just have a little trot and canter around just so she could get a feel and see how me and the horse work and see Star's movement for how he was going to be when it came to riding the side saddle. Now it was really good, he was feeling totally on top form so then once I'd finished with it's just a little warm up I decided to get off and have a few words with Penny. Hello everyone, so I'm here with Penny. I've just jumped off Star before we start looking at some of the side saddles. Um, so Penny, can you just introduce yourself to my viewers and just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, I'm Penny, Penny Clark. Um, I have two separate side saddle businesses, Penny Clark uh, Side Saddle Training and also Simply Side Saddles. Um, side saddle's been my passion for more years than I care to <laughs> remember, yeah. um, but I'm an instructor and a judge and travel around the country teaching people. So today, obviously, it's going to be your, well, I was going to say your first lesson, first lesson with me, but you have had one taster session before. Quite a yeah. few years ago, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> don't hold me to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, that's good. Was What we'll do is we'll take it really step by step. We'll mm -hmm. have a look and find a saddle which works for your horse. Yep. And then I'm going to really explain to you um, how riding side saddle is actually a very secure way to ride, as well as, of course, an elegant way to ride. So we'll be talking about that and, and I'll be showing you how to... Uh, get the best out of it. Brilliant. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you so much. Okay. I might end up going to the dark side by the sound of it. You never know. <laughs> I have a saddle patch because I messed that one up so badly. <laughs> right, mm. I'll start trying saddles on. It's possible. So when I'm putting saddles on, it's a bit like riding, it putting on an astride saddle. There are certain things you want to check that it's obviously not pinching, mm -hmm. that it's not bridging, that it's not too long. Um, so um, this actually is quite a nice length. It's a, this is a 16 inch Champion and Wilson saddle. Okay. So it's been refurbished really completely. It's been put on what we call a whipping pad, uh -huh. which is the having to make, makes them a little bit easier to fit. Um, what I'm also really looking for that's very side saddle specific is for the seat to be completely flat or pretty much flat from front to back, which mm -hmm. that one is. In fact, I think we will just go with this saddle. Um, and also, if you want to just start, go behind it, if you have a little look at the saddle, and uh, the reason I get, I'm saying to do this is so when you're on, I, I'll be explaining about weight distribution. Yeah. You should see that the saddle slightly dips down to the right. Can you see that? They're not symmetrical. Tool. Yeah, it does dip down to the yeah. right. Yeah, so that's going to be so when you're sitting on the saddle, mm -hmm. you're going to be putting a little bit more weight on your right leg, right seat bone, than your left. So you're not going to be, unlike when you're riding dressage, yeah. when you're very much trying to sit as symmetrically as possible. Yeah. We will have, I'll find in a moment, we'll have a balance skirt. The balance skirt will go from the front strap here to the, there's a strap on the off side at the back, so it sort of goes diagonally, and that really helps to keep the saddle stabilised. Um, and then on top of all of that, there's then an overgirth, mm -hmm. which is attached to the saddle on both sides, and it stops the flaps flapping up and down. <laughs> so do all of these take six quite well then? Certainly, I would say most horses take it really well, and it's quite surprising how they do. Mm -hmm. um, they sometimes miss the fact that you've not got a right leg. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to be explaining about what you do to replace the right leg. Essentially, you'll have a rigid cane, which will, you'll use as a leg replacement yeah. on the right side but yeah. yeah unless they're a confirmed rearer which i wouldn't tend to use um put a side saddle on a rearer um or a horse that's cold backed mm -hmm. but all other horses really take yeah. it very very well actually um i mean i would say basically you'd want them to have that certain level of schooling that they're yeah. comfortably walk trot trot I can say it, walk trotting, <laughs> cantering around and... So would you um, probably avoid younger horses? I probably wouldn't well. tend to go for um, a four-year-old or even a five-year-old, though I have sometimes started off four and five-year-olds with them and then... That's a good job starting each one at six. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And six, perfect to be mm -hmm. starting at that point because having seen you riding him astride, he already looks like he's reasonably established in all of his basic work and he's looking 
very settled and happy. So yes, hopefully he's going to be the perfect horse for Fingers it. Fingers so, crossed. Yeah. I'm going to show you next. Um, obviously, you've only got one stirrup on the side saddle because you've only got one leg that's going to be functioning as a leg. That's um, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so I've already said to you that this is a Champion Wilton saddle, so it has a specific. Um, fitting for a champion Wilton saddle mm -hmm. so it has this hexagonal shaped fitting I'll show you how that goes on in a moment um, other main makes of side saddle that you come across would be a Mayhew and we mm -hmm. have a different totally different form of safety device on the Mayhew and then we also have Owen saddles and they have another type of safety device Sometimes you do find older saddles that have got what we call a roller bar system, which is more like a normal stirrup that goes through a roller bar. Mm -hmm. And then you have to put a safety stirrup on rather than the safety attachment so that you've still got a means of um, being freed if you needed to be, if yeah. anything went wrong. But anyway, I'm going to show you how the Champion and Wilson works. So what we do is we just pull that forward a little bit and this just clips over there presses down and then once your legs over the top of that it holds it, it down. holds it down but in the event of anything happening it would just ping off like that okay so um not that we're so it starts doing airs above ground yeah but i'm going to be showing you also how you're going to stay on what's going to make <laughs> you secure as a rider okay okay yeah, thank you so now that Star is fully fitted with his side saddle, I just went and took him off for a little walk just so he could get the feel for how the saddle is on his back, much like you would when you first put a saddle on your horse ever in its life. So we're just doing a few 10 meter circles just so he gets a feel for that different weight distribution. And as you can see, he is supremely unbothered. So this was looking good for the rest of the session. Let's talk about the saddle. Mm -hmm. The two very obvious differences as well, we've already talked about the fact that we've got a level seat from front to back. But the other difference is, of course, are these two projections on the side, which are called pommels. Okay. So when I'm going to put you on board, um, I'm going to put you on a stride, mm -hmm. and then you're going to be bringing your right leg up and over this top pommel. This is called the fixed head. Mm -hmm. So your right leg will sit around there, and the lower right part of your right leg will hang down this part of the saddle which is called the safe. Mm -hmm. We've then got the other pommel which is called the leaping head which um, is there really is more as a guide to where your leg sits. You don't actually grip up into it. It's there. It's actually there more for if you were jumping to stop you going too far forward okay, over a jump. We won't <laughs> jump today at any rate. Um, so um, the goal will be that when you sit on, when I get you on the stride and then you just bring your right leg over that top pommel is that you still face the front, mm. so you're facing you're straight towards his ears, and you don't end up sitting sideways on. Yeah. So, so that's actually very much the goal, and that's part of what's going to keep you really secure in the side saddle. Um, so you'll hear me saying a lot when you're on, keep your right shoulder back, because the tendency will be to want to go yeah. that way, where it actually you want to stay facing the front. So, should we get you on board? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Further back with the, with your block, because you've obviously got the, the pommels there. Yeah. So you don't want to be arriving up on top of those. He does have a tendency to walk off when oh, I get on. <laughs> yeah. If he does, just I just say it'll feel very odd sitting astride on the side of that. So my leg wasn't going underneath the thing. <laughs> so what do you mean I'm trying to walk off? Yeah. Very well behaved. Oh, this feels very bizarre. They do feel <laughs> very strange when you're sitting a stride on a side saddle and I feel much better actually when you're sitting side saddle on it. Do you know I've never been scared when I've been on star and suddenly I'm nervous. Don't, <laughs> no, don't be. Put your trust in me, I'll, I'll make sure you're okay. I trust you, Penny. <laughs> So without turning, so keep yourself facing the front, we're just going to bring that right leg up and over the top pommel. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that. That does actually feel a bit more comfortable. Yeah, it, I it's don't amazing. Think, I don't want actually to move, move, but I feel more comfortable. So can you remember from your one go before that what is going to really keep you secure? We've talked about the fact that you're going to stay facing the front and keeping your right shoulder back. Can you think of anything else that's going to keep you secure on the saddle? Okay. <laughs> so actually, it's, a lot of it's about the position of, of your legs. Are you okay if I position them yeah. where they need to Go be? For it. So this right leg, 
needs to convert it, you have the right to actually point it down. So it's the one time, when you're riding horses, that you actually get told to point the toe down. And that enables you to have a little bit more pressure on the outside of that right lower leg. Yeah. So you, you really want to feel that that's what's going to be there and keeping you really nice and secure. I'm always looking for the seat to be level, so your two bum cheeks are actually level, but you're not sitting with your right one forward with the left, because then you end up almost being a little bit on the diagonal. Um, what I do think is you possibly could just come back and fraction so with the right seat though. And I think what I'm going to do, just to help you out a little bit here, is I'm going to put what we call a queen onto your top panel here, and it'll just help you to keep your right seat bone back just a touch so that you're completely straight. So just see if you can marginally we'll bring that right. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. yeah. So if you were to actually feel your bottom cheeks, so you should feel like the level, you shouldn't feel like you're sitting with your right seat bone forward. If you do, you'll end up hurting your back, you know, you're going to end up yeah. straining your back. I think I'm okay. Yeah, so that looks, that looks pretty good. Can we can talk to you a few other things as we're going along? That's the wrong direction. Good boy. That's good to use your voice as well, because obviously yeah, you, just, you, you will miss the bat the yeah. right leg on the other side. And we might quite quickly have a pain to replace that.
is now you've got a little bit over to the left of your seat. It looks maybe in the south as well, slightly over as well. So just check that. Um, I don't know whether you can feel that. So we're grateful if you can get, feel what's going on at all stages as well as me just telling you. I don't know whether it feels like the saddle's maybe a little bit to the left. Go back to the saddle. Getting that feeling of just how open that right shoulder needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Um, alongside that, um, the other exercise, and I will hold them for this one, which I think is a good one to do, is also thinking, if it's not just about having the right shoulder back, think about the fact you've got to keep the left shoulder forward. So, it, so you're sitting in a slightly clockwise position all the time, so your shoulders are at five past the hour mm -hmm. and not five to the hour, so you're always just sitting that way. So what I'm going to get you to do next, and I will hold them and say for this, is put your arms out at shoulder height, and then just do a nice slow movement, only going clockwise. We're not going to go back that way. So it's just a nice big turn that way. So it's really just reinforcing that whole thing of your left shoulder being forward and your right shoulder being open. Oh, I don't like this very far, do I? If nothing else, it's a really good suppling exercise. Yeah. I think I need suppling yeah. exercises. That's as far as I go. That's fine, mm. that's okay. And then just repeat that two or three times. So it's just good, a bit like doing any other sort of stretching exercises. It's good to just loosen up the spine. Keep it nice and mobile for when you do. Surprised by how not supple I am. Never mind the horse, it's me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Then just think that with your left hand, just pop your left arm straight up in the air. And what I want you to do is lean forward and see if you can touch his right ear or get as near to it as you can. He's a bit Quite too a big, big for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier if you're on a 14 to <laughs> So same thing again there. It's that left shoulder going towards your right, uh, yeah. yeah, either towards your right knee or towards his right ear. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll have a go to trot. So staying upright as you ask him to move off. Okay, please be useful boys just to remind him. Um, are you happy allowing him to have a little trot now? I can give it a go, but I don't think it's going to be very pretty. <laughs> so, main thing is remember to stay upright. Think about the right shoulder being back and that right lower leg, and it will hopefully minimise any amount. It will feel odd for the first few times of trotting. Yeah. It, and it probably goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. If you do do sitting trot, not rising trot on a side. To be fair, I wasn't planning on trying. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you can do rising trot on a side. But it's I'm gripping. <laughs> well, I'm just going to let you just find your way a little bit, then we can iron out any issues. What I'm particularly liking, though, is you have got a lovely posture. You're staying really nice and upright. I mean, I think this is a super first go trotting around. He's such a good boy. And I have to say, he looks lovely. Good boy.
Right then, so that is me all finished and just taking the saddle back now on mum's leading star for me. That was honestly so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be terrifying and I was going to be really bad at it and it was just going to be boom crash. I just thought it would be interesting for you guys to watch. I actually really enjoyed that. So I'll be checking out the Associated Championships that Penny was talking about. Um, and who knows, I might have been converted. So thank you so much everyone for watching. I super hope you enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed bringing it to you and I hope you guys found it interesting. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is gonna be uploaded. And from me and Star, it is goodbye.